Hi dear students, how are you? I hope you're fine. Today we're gonna talk about the coordinate plane. What does it mean the coordinate plane? It's the intersection, guys, okay, of a horizontal number line and it's called x-axis. Horizontal like this. This is a horizontal line, okay, and it's called x-axis. And the vertical line, this is a vertical line and it's called y axis they meet at an origin they meet at an origin and they have here four quadrants four quadrants here as you see this is the first quadrant it's up here it's up to the right then comes the second quadrant then third then fourth first second third fourth okay so we have here as i told you horizontal x axis vertical y axis origin zero and zero this is the origin as you see this point and all will be very easy now okay so we have here x coordinate and y coordinate we have here x coordinate and y coordinate so if i choose this point okay can you see this point the purple one here it's what i will go on x axis here two and then go up one so two on x axis and one on y axis so it's two and one the coordinates of x and y okay so as you see here uh, we have here named the order pairs that describes the point very easy here a what is a here let's see together a it's four on x-axis and go up how many two points here on y-axis so it's four and two what about b here as you see b it's what on x-axis first two on y-axis go down one two and then three so it would be negative three because we go down negative remember go up positive go to the right positive go to the left negative and remember also this is called the coordinates of what x and y okay okay if he asks me here to point e which is located five units to the left of the origin and five units above the origin where is the origin here guys this is the origin here which is zero and zero this point okay this point i need a marker this point guys so he asks you to to the e is what it's to the left of the origin how many units five so one two three four and five then this point then what then above the and five units above the origin so i'll go up one two three four and then five so where is my point here will be plot it will be plot here up can you see it okay so this will be e okay Plot the point and describe its location. First quadrant, third or fourth. Here, G, 4 and negative 5. Go on X axis 4. This is X axis. So, go 4. Then, go up or down. Negative down. Negative 5. So, it will be here. Okay. So, the point will be here. I want to erase and put it for you here. Yes, this one, guys this will be point what point g okay so it's very easy right and what about point g here we didn't mention okay point g here is what point g in which quadrant this is the first second third fourth so it will be inside the fourth quadrant okay what about zero and two this one k zero so i'm not i will be on the zero on x axis and two to go up to one two so the point will be here 
we have point here miss no we don't have point here the only point i got here it's up here this one okay this one point two it's zero and two and this one it means this one okay this is point k okay what else we have got here we have got three and three three and three and up three so this is three and three it's located in the first quadrant okay so this is three and three okay easy easy if he asks me here a question make a conclusion 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 about the scatter plot here i will tell him what the points here tend to fall from the left the left to the right they will t they will fall from the left to the right okay if i ask you here where is negative 4 and 0 so i will go on x axis this is x axis i will go negative 4 and then go up or down no never because here the other for the y coordinate it's zero so here i will put here my point what's the location of l here it's on x axis on x axis okay thank you for listening my dear students bye bye